You first walk into an enclosed porch and then you enter the living room. There's a bedroom on the left and straight ahead is a dining room. To the right of that is the bathroom and kitchen. It's cute, right? Yeah. Just need to open up the porch because they've closed it all into interior space. It'll be cute. Yeah, it needs a front porch. Steps all need some love. Possibly paint the limestone, who knows. All right, let's go inside. I'm not struggling. This one isn't coming out. Uh, I feel like we might need a pry bar. Do those need to come out? No. Those two? Ooh, a penny. All right, I'm done. I can go home. All right, now try. Oh, there you go. What? Don't we have a key? No. Nice there work. we go. Who needs a key? So old porch. How look how pretty that front door is. It's beautiful. And this is where the original front door was, right? Right, right. And so make this a front porch again. Yeah. Living room? Um, so we've got... Oh, that's pretty. Like, these cool old windows. Look at the interesting dirt pattern on the ceiling from yeah. never cleaning the fan blades. So this is the one bedroom up front here. It's got the other half of the porch closed in. So this is my idea. Woohoo! There's a boatload of money all around you. This is a, uh, what is this, a quarter? Yeah, someone Holy cow. through their change jar. I'm gonna get rich here. Can this I have is fantastic. Focus for Sorry, sorry. I know you were talking and it was super interesting. I'm sure. But, uh, you know, Enthralling. this is good luck. This is my thought. I'm listening. This is open back up to the porch. We drop in French doors here. This is the kitchen. The kitchen right now is in the back and we'd pull it up Put here. Put the kitchen so up front. Like an L around here. Okay. We could use that little closet as the pantry. Okay. It's very hard to keep mom focused when there's change on the ground. What? I like to collect pennies. I am capable of listening and collecting pennies at the same time. I need to see the rest of the house to see what you're thinking. Okay. So if we can open up between the kitchen and the living room, I think if this is open, it's big enough for the public space, which then means this is our bedroom. Okay. I think we're gonna have to adjust the windows for egress because they're too high. They are definitely more than 42 inches from the ground. Yeah, so we can figure that out, but bedroom. These windows are cool. I know. These, I would love to keep these. I would like to keep these ones and storm them and then maybe replace the other ones. But then this becomes the bedroom and the kitchen area. I think you turn into a walkthrough to like your exit. So your bedroom has access to your bathroom and then this is just like laundry room. This is gonna take a lot of love. There's some weird things going on. We need to figure out if we can open up the space between the living room and where we want the new kitchen. So we just need to figure out if it's load bearing. We need to look at some joists so we know if we do open it up, how much it's gonna cost. So outside we wanna turn the enclosed porch back into an open one and replace the paint and siding. Inside we'll move the kitchen to the current dining room space and turn the current kitchen into a laundry and mud room. I think we'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need to get to demo. Kinda like to hit the ceiling with a pressure washer. Maybe to get that old plaster off. So the nonprofit we're working with bought the house for $6,000, and we have to stay within a budget of $90,000 for the renovation. But I think once we're all done, the house will appraise for close to $120,000, which I'm sure the nonprofit will be happy about. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So the concern is the front porch is over foundation. So we have to waterproof the living part of the porch. Seriously waterproof it. Oh. Oh my. Because the front porch is contiguous foundation with the rest of the house and joists with the rest of the house, it has to be waterproofed and impervious to the elements or we destroy the bones of the house. I mean, you have to seal it completely and nothing seals completely. It's gonna be whichever is more cost effective. The money the nonprofit has for this renovation just is what it is. We cannot go over the budget, so we're just gonna to have to be really careful with how we spend the money. We do what we need to do 
to leave it open and create a waterproof situation on the base, or we put windows back in and treat it like a sunroom and like have it open to the house. I don't know which would be more cost effective. So I'm hoping we can keep it open. I'm so confused because why would it have siding here if it wasn't an exterior space at one point? So weird. It's a bit of a conundrum. There's a lot of weird stuff in the houses we renovate. <laughs> We're working with a nonprofit and they have a limited budget. We can't afford to go outside the current footprint. And this is the current kitchen. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get moved over here. And then we'll have this mudroom. Bathroom stays put, bedroom stays put, living room stays put. OK. And our porch gets closed in again. It's so itty bitty. It's a one in one. Well, we've Very added simple. a little pantry here, which is nice. Mm -hmm. OK. Switch the door on the bathroom to make that a little bit more functional. But other than that, it's... All right, Dunsies. Yeah, easy. This one, theoretically. <laughs> theoretically will be easy, which means it won't, and it'll cost extra money. See how the floor dips? Yeah, right there. Yep. We need We're to bring to all raise that, that up. up. Yep. All of these joists need to come up. Just when we solve one issue, another one crops up. While the team was replacing some of the old subflooring, we discovered that a few of our floor joists were sagging. So Tad and the guys are working on adding supports in the basement to level out the parts of the floor that had begun to sag. We got lifted like three inches, which is kind of dangerous. Yeah, so the worst thing that could happen today is the floor system above us just comes crashing down on top of our domes. So when we're jacking this up, we probably just want to go half inch at a time on each side. It'll be all right. Yikes. Hearing the house creak, the whole house creak. So we're lifting a lot of weight. There's three different bottle jacks down there. Each one can lift up 30,000 pounds. That's three tons for you at home. <laughs> That's 45 tons. No, it's each. T no, uh, it's 45 tons. Each ton there's, is 10,000. Or sorry, uh, each ton is 2,000 pounds. Yeah. And there's 90,000. Yeah, right. Does this side need to come up at all, or? Yeah, take your sump, some. A little crooked. We can definitely hear the house creaking. I hate that sound. Ta -da! Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Obviously a little bit different. It kind of still feels like exterior space, but it's heated and cooled like the rest of the house, so it's additional square footage, which adds to the value as well. It's beautiful. I love that, that this is really bright and white, and then just with the plants, it's just gorgeous. That's it your, so that's your porch salad. <laughs> so it's got all your herbs and fresh, yummy things. This would be so nice for people in the winter, just to be a really beautiful light space for them. And also, the flooring flows from here all the way through the house, mm -hmm. so it feels a little more connected. All right, you guys want to check out the living room? Yeah, absolutely. Side one. All right. Oh, wow. Looks a little yeah, different, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So this was always the living room, but yeah. looked much, much different. And like Mom said, we were able to carry the floors throughout, so it all feels really cohesive. Yeah. And a lot of times, we just open up walls to make them feel bigger, but these were too charming to oh, get yeah. rid of. So just a fresh coat of white paint. Oh, yeah, this is so much nicer. And I do love the flooring. It's a good color. And it kind of warms up the space mm -hmm. without making it feel heavy or dark. Yeah, this is going to be really great for an artist because it's so bright. My favorite part is the kitchen. So I'm going to go see that. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. So what we did was pull the kitchen over there into the dining room area. And it was kind of the perfect place because we could keep all the windows, make the space more functional, and have a much larger kitchen. What you did here with the kitchen and expanding it in this way is 
gonna be so important to people because people congregate in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah, this is great. And I love the upper part here. Yeah, the shelves were put in to match the butcher block style countertop uh -huh. and increase your storage space. So you've got your ladder here. It's like a way cuter version of just a kitchen step stool. Yeah. Oh my so you gosh. Do a little oh, hold hey. out and oh, press on the that. counter. No, you can get your pots and pans down and yeah. do whatever. And it's super cute. That is so cool. I want you to take a peek over here at the chimney. Uh, MJ and I lime washed that because it was uh, different colors of red brick. Mm -hmm. And while we were doing it, I asked him, so what do you want to put on top of the refrigerator? Because now there's this focal point. And he said, live peacocks. But instead, we just have homage to live peacock because MJ wanted peacocks. This is just amazing. <laughs>